In a typical SSVP-based PCR setup, the major components are the subject, EEG system to record brain activities, the visual stimuli presented to subjects, and the stimulation medium that displays stimulation. In this paper, we investigate the effect of having different stimulation media to the performance of the resulting steady-state visual evoked potential. In general, there are two types of stimulation media, computer screens and LEDs. Both of them have their advantages and are used in different applications. From the application point of view, screens are preferred in tasks where no physical actions are required because they are easier to set up and program, while LEDs play an important role when the task is not confined to the screens as they are easier to be attached to physical objects but in most applications, they can be used interchangeably. Hence, understanding how they affect the performance of SSVP is an important exercise. In the literature, the comparison on different stimulation media has already been studied. However, contradictory results were found in the LCD screen versus LED comparison. It is also challenging to compare results in the literature due to unreported details on stimulation setup, difference in evaluation criteria, and even unfair comparisons in some papers. In the paper that explicitly compared the effect of using clear or frosted LED lenses and reported that clear LEDs were found to evoke stronger SFCEPs, only four subjects participated in this study, and the t-test result did not show a consistently significant difference between the clear and frosted LED lens conditions. Therefore, there is a need to conduct a carefully designed comparison on the most commonly used stimulation media. So in this study, we focused on comparing LCD screen clear LED and frosted LED as SSVP stimulation media. A variation in LED background color was also included in the experiment to investigate the potential effect of having different background contrast between our LED and LCD screen setups. We have then designed an experiment to test the SSVP performance with visual stimulation presented on different stimulation media. The experiment has 10 sessions in total that covers the five different stimulation medium setups. We presented nine targets in red color, which are labeled with different frequencies. The subjects were asked to go through each of the targets following the visual clue shown before each trial. This sequence was maintained the same in each session throughout the experiment. EEG was recorded from six channels over the occipital lobe, as can be seen on the photos. With the data collected from 12 subjects, we then calculated the SSVP classification accuracies of each session. Paired sample t-tests were performed to check the differences in performance with different stimulation media. As shown in the figure, LCD screen and frosted LEDs significantly outperform clear LEDs by a large margin. The difference between LCD sessions and frosted LED sessions was not statistically significant. Based on our observations, we suspect that low accuracy with clear LEDs is associated with their punctate character. The frosting film acts as a diffuser which could distribute the light more evenly. The figure also demonstrated that similar results were obtained from sessions with neutral and black background contrasts, and no significant difference was observed when varying LED background contrast. This suggests that background contrast in LED setups does not have a strong impact on SSVP performance. 
In order to get a thorough understanding on the performance on the different evaluation criteria, we have also calculated the signal to noise ratio in frequency domain for each session and plotted the SNRs with accuracies for each subject. It can be seen in the figure that SS3P accuracies and frequency domain SNRs are strongly correlated with a correlation coefficient of 0 0.785. To conclude, in this paper, we have compared SSVEP performance with different stimulation media with a focus on comparing LCD screen, clear LEDs, and frosted LEDs. It was found that the LCD screen evokes stronger SSVEP than clear LEDs. But when frosting films are applied to LEDs, the performance is similar to that of the LCD screen. Background contrast on LEDs was also tested, and the results showed no significant difference between neutral and black background on LEDs. Last but not least, strong correlation was observed between SSVEP accuracy and frequency domain signal to noise ratio of the recorded EEG data. Thank you for your attention.